Hi, I'm Owen of Van Checking Lifestyle, and we get this question probably more than any other question besides how do you sleep in that thing, and that is, how do you watch TV in your Revel? You see, in every other van or RV that we've ever owned, we've had a TV. Now, Lynn and I don't watch a lot of TV, but we do like to wind down at night when we're out even in the middle of nowhere with at least maybe one of our favorite shows. And another thing for us, but probably not for you, we use a TV to review the footage before we create the videos, and then we use the TV to review the video before we send it up to YouTube. So if we don't have a TV in our Revel, how do we solve that? Well, usually we spin the seats around and we do this. Take one of our iPads and we place it on top of the bench seat. And that seems to work pretty well. And if we could zoom in like you can with a camera, that'd be great, but neither one of us see that well. So it's just too small, especially if you have to read the captions. But with this setup, we can watch Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and we can watch YouTube. And all of those services allow us to download content when we have the internet and then watch it later. It works out really well. Our iPad has a tremendous amount of storage and we're gonna have it with us anyway. So there are a lot of pluses for doing that, but if it were just bigger. So if the iPad is too small, then what else will work? So we made a list of seven things that it needs to have to solve this situation without making it worse. Number one, it needs to be big enough and it needs to be clear and a beautiful picture, right? Because that's what we're wanting. Number two, it needs to have a really good sound and it needs to be pretty loud because if we're running the fan or the air conditioner, it's hard to hear. So we want it to be loud enough. Number three, it needs to connect an HDMI cable that's connected to an iPhone or an iPad, or even better yet, it needs to accept streaming like AirPlay or something else so we can just sit here and do it and watch it that would be really convenient number four it needs to have some type of smart apps installed we're used to seeing netflix and hulu and youtube right on our tvs now aren't we and so whatever we do with this we'd like for it to have that as well number five gets into how we would mount it we would like to be able to place it in the van permanently so that we don't have to set it up every single time but we'd also like to be able to remove it and use it outside if we want to watch tv outside number six we're in a van and we're always watching our power consumption so this thing needs to not suck up a lot of power. And number seven, it needs to hold up over time, bouncing down dirt roads and down the interstates. The solution for solving this problem is directly dependent upon where you watch TV to begin with. Many would say, why don't you watch it back here in the garage? You can set a TV up over here. Well, eventually we're gonna grow tired of watching TV back here because of having to slump down. There's no real comfortable seat to sit in and well, it just gets old. So why not up on the bed? We can watch TV in the bed and we've tried that. In fact, a lot of times we will watch something lying in bed with the iPad, but when you have to lay still for a long time, eventually it becomes a tiring situation. And let's face it, when you lay in bed and you watch TV, you usually fall asleep. So that's not a really good solution either. We always come back to spinning the seats and sitting up here in these seats, which are extremely comfortable and kind of living in this area. So your first thoughts about how to solve this might be the same as ours. What about a small TV? So off to Walmart, we went on a recent trip and we bought a 24 inch TV and we came in here and the very first thing we did was put it on top of the bench, just like we do the iPad and it worked except dummy me got one that didn't solve the solution about sound. I purchased the monitor. Monitors don't have speakers, but if you bought a TV that had really good speakers, that is a viable option, except having to set it up and tear it down every single time you wanted to watch TV. Well, that's not a permanent, perfect solution. So then we thought, what if we could permanently mount a TV up here in this area beside of that window and swing it out when we wanted to watch TV and then put it back? Well, that's a really good solution. A few problems that are probably gonna come up that we're gonna wish we hadn't done that later. When we're bouncing down dirt roads, that mechanism for mounting that, that mount needs to be pretty sturdy and it needs to hold up over time. And I'm not really sure that we could find one that would do that. The other thing is the TV would be out all the time. So suppose the TV were right here in this area, hanging from this ram mount. 
That's a perfect solution, except it's going to block this window all the time when we're rolling down the road or when we're parked beside of a river or somewhere. We don't want it to take up that space. So what if we swing it back to here? Well, that may be a really good solution and it may be something we look into, but there are a lot of things back here that you need to get to all the time and all the panels that you need to monitor are right here. So anytime you wanted to check water levels or see how the batteries are doing, you'd have to move the TV. So see, there's not a perfect solution for mounting a TV in here. So we know that the iPad is not a perfect solution and we know that a TV adds a lot of complexity to the situation. We've seen that a lot of other Revel owners have gone to using projectors in their van. So one of the great things about owning a van or an RV would be all the Facebook groups that you can belong to. So we ran out to the Revel Facebook group to see what other people were doing. They were ordering this really neat little small projector. We put it in our shopping cart in Amazon, but then before it could be delivered, we had to leave for another trip. While we were gone, a company named, now I'm going to butcher this, I'm very sorry about that, Asa Kuki reached out to us and said, we love your channel and we'd like for you to review our projector. That got our attention. Even though we haven't been doing a lot of those review videos lately, we thought it was a good idea to at least try it. So we asked them to send us one and it got here. So I brought it inside and we're going to take it out of the box and see how many of those seven requirements this thing will meet. Well, that's pretty cool. It comes in a really neat little cloth carrying case that we can move around pretty easily. So that's one good check mark for them. When you open it, this is what you see. Well, initial thoughts, it looks a little big to put in the van, but maybe there's a spot that we can place it. Before I do that and go to that much trouble though, I'm going to set it up and see what kind of functionality it provides and see if it checks off one, two, three, and four of our little checklist before we take it out to the van. So setting this up has now become a search around the home for AAA batteries because you can't use this thing very well without the remote and they didn't send any batteries. So I'm gonna go rummaging through all the drawers and see if I can find a couple of AAA batteries and then we'll get back to trying this out. As usual, I found AA batteries, but still have not found any AAAs yet. Hey. Triple A batteries, look at that. Next thing we have to solve, we have to find a white surface to see if this is gonna work. I don't know about your home. We used to have a lot of white walls. We don't have a white wall anywhere, but I did find one in the guest bathroom. So I set it up so that the display is hitting the back of the shower. And you know what, this is working and I can read it from a long ways away. So it actually has a little bit of potential here. That actually <laughs> has a lot of potential. Here, let me pause this and I'll tell you what I had to do. So the first thing we had to do was set up the projector on the same network as the phone. So when you're on the road, you may not have a network for this thing and your phone to connect to, and you may have to use the cable. But in our case, we use our Calyx T-Mobile hotspot all the time when we're on the road. And we'll tell you about that in another video. But we were able to connect to the network and we're able to stream YouTube from my iPhone over to the screen. Okay, that works so far. Let's see how loud it will get. So if you turn up the volume on your phone after you've connected it to the uh, AirPlay, ah, it gets, it gets loud enough. This will work in the van even if the fans and the air conditioner is running. So that was doing YouTube, but let's see if it will also stream Netflix or Hulu or anything like that. Okay, like so many things in life, I got really excited about that. We will be able to watch YouTube and we'll be able to stream things from our phone, but what it will not allow us to do is use any of the online streaming services that we have come to depend upon. Like YouTube TV, I tried that, didn't work. YouTube works fine. Tried Hulu and tried Netflix. None of those work. And I'm gonna reach out to the company to find out if there's a fix for that. If they come back and tell us that streaming supported if we hold our finger like this and we stand on one leg, we may put it in the van. But if they don't tell us that, this may end up being just something that we use for movie night here at home, not a solution for the van. Most of you are a lot smarter than I am. 
So if you know of a way of solving this, how about leaving us a comment down below and let us know how you tackle this. And until next week when we try to do version two of this, we wish you happy tales and happy streaming. Crazy world we live in, isn't it, that we become so addicted to pressing a button and automatically seeing something on our TV. But if you're like me, you can remember standing beside of the TV holding up rabbit ears with aluminum foil on it just so your dad can watch a football game. So it's come a long way. We demand a lot. But I guess that's the world we live in. If we're going to put something in the van, it has to solve all seven of those things on our checklist. This one solves a lot of them, but not some of the most important ones. Mm.